For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where we have a truss that is supported by a pin at A and a roller at B. Determine the support reactions. So you know that you have a reaction at B and you have two reactions at A. Since B is a roller, you know that B can only have a vertical reaction BY. And A is a pin, so it has a vertical and horizontal reaction. Actually, the reaction that's horizontal is going to be going to the left. You can tell right off the bat because it's 5 kN force is going to the right and there's no other force acting on the stress. So the reaction has to go to the left. So let's call this AX and let's call this AY. So whenever you have a, a roller at one point and a pin at the other, what you want to do is you want to do the sum of the moments at the pin. That's usually the rule for this book. So let's assume clockwise is positive sum of the moments at A is equal to zero. Remember, you got a roller at B, sum of the moments at A. It's a good rule to, to remember. With all the, um, you know, when, rule, when it comes with a rule of thumb, you gotta sometimes use your brain. So don't take my word for it, just try it. Now, sum of the moments at A, you know you have a moment being created by this five kilonewton force at 90 degrees. You do here, 90 degrees from this line of action is turning this lever arm. I like to call them lever arm. So it's five kilonewtons times the four meters and clockwise is positive and it's turning it clockwise. So that's fine. Then we have the moment being created by the 10 kilonewton, which is turning this lever arm and it's also turning it clockwise. So it's plus 10 and that distance. How much is this distance? That distance is this two meters which is given right here, this is 2 meters, it's the same. And this distance right here is given by 6, which is the sum of 4 and 2, times the cosine of 45. So 6 cosine of 45 plus 2. That's that lever arm. And then you got By, which is all of this, plus 4 meters. So, and it's uh, kind of clockwise, so it's minus By times 6, cosine of 45 plus 6. Why 6? 2 plus 4 is 6. So as you can see we got this long equation, somewhat long equation, it's not that bad for engineers, and you only got uh, the variable by, so you're trying to find by, you, you plug all this into your calculator, you solve for by, and you get that by is equal to 8.05 kilonewtons. So let me start a new layer and erase all this. Like I said, by is equal to 8.05 kilonewtons. Just to clean my diagram and show you some other stuff. So some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So you can find AY. You know that AY is going up plus BY. It's also going up minus five cosine of 45 Wi-Fi, the five kilonewton force times the cosine of 45. Because you know this is also 45 which tells us this is 45 and it tells us that is 45. So that's why in case you're wondering. 45 is a nice angle to have. You're gonna learn that. Minus the 10 kilonewton force right here. And all of that is equal to zero. We already found by right here. So you just plug it in, you solve for ay, and you get that ay is equal to 5.49 kilonewtons, of course. And then sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero. You got minus ax going to the left plus the 5k times the sine of 45 or cosine of 45 is the same thing, is equal to zero. So ax comes out to be 3.5, let's say 535 kilonewtons. Hopefully you're doing the calculations yourself. It's good practice to follow the exercise by doing it, not just watching my videos. So reactions at B is only a B, Y. Final answer for reaction at B, final answer for reaction at A, Y, and final answer for reaction A, X. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.